Welcome to another episode of GMG News with your host, General Music. Everyone stay tuned for more videos popping off in the next couple of weeks. Boom. So today, guys, we're unboxing three packs of Pokemon trading cards. These are from the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising booster packs. Um, if you stick around, I will be giving away the three codes for each one of these packs. So there's three codes for the three packs that I will be unboxing today. If you like Pokemon, go to www.pokemon.com to find out more about the latest and greatest of this Pokemon. So let's just get into this. So we'll start off from left to right. So the first card, straight off the bat, we got was a level 30 water type Pokemon in its basic form which is Wishy Washy. Let me just see if I can get some better light. There we are. We then got a Jang Moho, 60 health points dragon type Pokemon, basic form. We then got a Wimpod, 70 health points grass type Pokemon. We then got a Matchup, which is a Generation 1 type Pokemon, 60 health points, and that's a Rock type Pokemon. We then got a Whalmer, 120 health points, Water type Pokemon, essentially looks like a massive whale in its basic form, which is pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse my voice. We then got a Generation 1 Technical in its basic form, 60 health points, Water type Pokemon, really cool art for this card. One attack of Sludge Rock, which does 10. We then got Rayquaza, um, just a normal Rayquaza in its basic form, 120 health points, energy type Pokemon, uh, two attacks, one of Turbo Storm which does 30, the other of Dragon Claw which does 80. We then got an energy card, we then got a Whimsicott which has 80 health points, in its stage 1 evolution, two attacks, one the wages of fluff and the other is Fairy Wind which does 30. We then got a Mar Marini, uh, 60 health points water type Pokemon in its basic evolution. Two attacks, one of Bailout and the other of Rain Splash, which does 10. We then got Hala, which is a trainer supporter type card. I've got quite a few of these. And if you want the code for that pack of cards, the code is N4TPJCLV2MDRK. Um, and you need to go to www.pokemon.com forward slash redeem in order to get that code. So next up, I'm left handed so I will pick this one here. <laughs> so just very quickly unbox this one and show you what we've got with this one. So starting off, we have a Glig Gligar um, in its Basic form, 70 health points, and that's a rock type Pokemon with one attack, which is double shot. We then got a Pat Rat um, in its basic form, 60 health points, uh, that's an energy type Pokemon, two attacks, one of Glance, and the other of Tackle, which does 10. We then got a Snorunt, um, just a normal Snorunt. I have three shinies of this. Um, this is in its basic evolution, 60 health points, and that's a water type Pokemon. We then got a Mud, muck, uh, more, mo, mock, row, um, 70 health points in its basic form. I like the art of this card, kind of looks like a magpie with a witch's hat. Uh, one attack of whirlwind, which just 10. We then got a salandit, 70 health points, fire type Pokemon, two attacks, one of a scratch, which is 10, the other a venom shock, which is 20 plus. Um, this is its basic evolution. We then got a shiny slowpoke, which is really cool. Never had one of these yet. I'm glad to add this to the condition. Um, condition, addition, um, and it's basically evolution. Certainly health points, and that's a mystic or goats type Pokemon. Two attacks, one of headbutt, which does ten, and the other of Wimsley tackle, which does sixty. Wow! Look at that. Look at that card in all of its glory. Hundred and ninety health points, which is the highest health points I have for any card at this moment in time in its basic form we have a i'm sorry if i ruined the pronunciation of this a torton no, a tortonator tortonator um gx a tortonator gx that looks like one cool fire tortoise dude <laughs> 
three attacks, one of Shell Trap, which is 20, the other of Blight f Bright Flame, which does 160 health points, and last but not least, Nitro Tank GX. I'm really happy with that, and I just can't believe that I've got so many cool cards. Um, all off boosters. So yeah, that's a really good one to have. And then we have a generic energy card. But I'm not going to get down about that because of the card that I just got. Then we have a Max Potion Trainer card. Then we have a Clefable, which is a Generation 1 type Pokemon in its Stage 1 Evolution. 100 health points, 2 attacks, one of Lullaby, which is 20, and the other of Meteor Mash, which is 60. We have a Lampet um, in its Stage 1 Evolution, which is the Evolution of Litwick. Um, 80 health points, obviously being a Lantern, it is a Fire type Pokemon with 1 attack of Will O' Wisp, which does 30. Last but not least, this is the code. For that pack of cards so go to www.pokemon.com forward slash tc tcgo i'm putting this code of pcb yr9y 7yc pc9 so i'm just going to show you the other code as well so you can also redeem that one at the same time if you haven't done already so so last but certainly not least we have a final pack of cards and i wonder what we're going to get in this one guys so Start this off. First of all, we have Chansey, which is a Generation 1 type Pokemon in its basic evolution. 110 health points. Two attacks, one of Bind Wound and the other of Hammer In, which does 80. We then got a Petal Lily, which has 50 health points. Obviously, being a plant sort of Pokemon, it is a grass type Pokemon in its basic evolution with one attack, which is blocked, which does 10. Next up, we've got Trubbish, which is a play on the word trash and rubbish um, in its basic evolution. It is a ghost or mystic type Pokemon. It has two attacks, one of Stomp Off and the other of Draw, which does 30. We then got a Machomp, which is a Generation 1 type Pokemon in its rock form. Um, one attack of Jewel Chop, which does 30, and it has 70 health points. We then got a Alolan Geodude, which is a Generation 1 type Pokemon, but it, this is the Alolan version, so hence it not being a Rock Pokemon, it is actually an Electric Pokemon. 70 health points, 2 attacks, 1 of Rock Polish and 1 of Rollout, which does 40. We then got a Shiny Vanillish, which I have, I think I have 2 of these now, so this is pretty cool to add to my collection. 80 health points, Water type Pokemon, essentially looks like a, a, a Vanilla Ice Cream Cone. Um, one attack of Ice Shard, which is 80. I really like the art on this and just the, uh, or just generally the colour. Um, next up, we then got a Victrabel. 140 health points, Generation 1 type Pokemon. Never seen uh, this art for this Pokemon, so this is really cool. Two attacks, one of Pollen Hazard, which does 20, and the other of Sick and Absorb, which does 80. And that is a Grass type Pokemon. Then we got a generic Energy Fire type card. Then we got a Trainer Enhanced Hammer item card. We then got a Trainer Aqua Patch item card. We then got a Weeping Bell, so if we just hold these up, this is the previous evolution and this is what it evolves into. So yeah, pretty cool. I actually prefer the art of the Weeping Bell um, to the art of the Victory Bell. Um, 80 health points, this is a grass type Pokemon, it has one attack of Muddy Acid, which does 40. And last but not least, the final code. So if you go to www.pokemon.com forward slash redeem, put in this code TQW7HHCQHZJWY. So I'm just going to try and hold all of these up so you can get them. Well, if you haven't already seen them throughout the video. So they're all the codes. And now I'm just going to walk my one and show you every single card. So that's the first one. So once again, guys, thank you for watching another episode of GMG News. Thank you for everyone who has participated in making me an intro. It's really been nice to have my friends get involved in my channel because they always ask about what I'm up to these days. So I thought it'd be nice to show people what I'm doing and essentially let them have their own little part of my channel. If anybody wants to get involved in doing an intro for my channel, all you essentially have to do is say hello and welcome to another episode of GMG News. Send it to me either via Facebook, Twitter, um, email, Instagram, 
uh, if you know me personally, you can WhatsApp to WhatsApp it to me. I don't really mind. I'm essentially just adding it into the videos because I just wanted to do my own little personal thing, and I wanted other people to get involved in my channel more so, and for it to feel more personal when I'm doing my videos. So I'm just really grateful for all the people who've been viewing all of my videos over the past year or so, um, to all the subscribers and all the likes that I get. Uh, you know, you guys essentially what well, you essentially drive me towards doing more videos I'm in no way at all do I endorse anyone or anything like that I do this all off my own back so everything that I get essentially is what I buy myself and pay for myself so yeah I've spent, I've spent a lot of money on doing this but at the same time I know it's all worth it because well this is something that I enjoy and I like the fact that you guys enjoy watching my content and that means a lot to me so like I said you know I can't thank everyone enough for everything that what you lot have essentially done for me so yeah and if anybody wants any different sort of videos or wants any requests for videos please let me know in the comment section down below because I can't read minds but I can read comments so yeah if there's anything that you want me to unbox or you know there's any challenges that you want me to do or you want me to do a review or something or you, maybe you want me to uh, collaborate with someone else or something, I, I, I really don't know. But whatever it is that you think would be decent for a video, please let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and like I said, for the final and last time, thank you for watching another episode of GMG News. This is probably one of the best cards that I've got apart from that Charizard I got the other day. Go and watch that video to see my reaction of getting a Charizard for the first time in so many... Well, the first time I ever actually... Um, have a good day, guys.